hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to use the new ios 18 translation api to translate a text using a translation model so here you can see that i have one text and i have one translate button if i click on it it displays a model or pop-up model and here you can see it has detected that the original text was in hindi language and it has converted for me in the uk language uh, there are other things as well like if you want you can copy the translation add to favorites open in translate app or download languages you can switch the language as well if you want to so it's up to you which language you want to choose uh, so yeah that's what this output is but unfortunately this uh, api is only available from ios 18 and that too only for swift ui but i will show you quickly how to use it for ui kit as well but the problem is you will have to display the uh, entire ui in swift ui and then embed it inside your ui kit application anyways let let's have a look at the swift ui code first so here as you can see i have created a swift ui application i have imported the translation framework and here i have taken one state uh, whether to show the translation model or not and here i have say, taken some uh, text here you can change it to whatever you feel like i'm uh, displaying the text inside this particular text field and here i have one button which just toggles this particular value and here you can see we have this translation presentation we are passing that particular state to this and we are also passing the original text to it and yeah that's it uh, then this will handle all the translation for us uh, yeah that's it for swift ui now coming back to ui kit also i have created one project as well i'll quickly show it to you i mean it's exactly similar to that of uh, swift ui so here as you can see i have created a uh, ui kit application previously what i was trying to do is that i was trying to create a ui label uh, and i was only trying to do the translation on swift ui side you can do it can do it like i was able to do it but there are a lot of issues particularly re related to this particular uh, this model which you see now uh, that uh, maintaining the state in the view controller side it's very difficult uh, because you will have uh, suppose if you have this translate button on the ui kit side uh, then you will have on the click of the button you will have to show the model what if the user does not click on translate button again and he clicks outside somewhere then this model gets pop up pop, popped uh, like it get it it is closed right but still in your view controller that particular state you will have to maintain it get it gets extremely complicated i have tried it i was able to achieve it to some extent but there were few bugs that's why i gave up on it but here you can see i have the code for it i have commented it out in case if you want to try it you can try it so here it is also but later on what i did was i just created one swift ui uh, view this is same what i have shown you now just now inside our swift and here inside view controller i have just initialized it then with the help of ui hosting controller i am displaying it inside our uh, view controller so yeah that's it uh, choose whatever you feel is best for you thank you for watching bye